Hi guys, it's Candace. I'm back. I just thought I would show you the look. I'm I'm matching my green card. Um, thought I'd show you this journal card. I let's see if I can get close enough so you can see it there. I put some little sequins on here. You know how to do it. And then I went and put some little um, off cuts of this blush. I cut another panel and put some little um, Nouveau drops on there and then sewed around it. So that's what our little card looks like. And then on the pocket, this is going to go in there. And then on the pocket, I, whoops, of course, had to add some Nouveau drops. Could not just leave it naked. Had to bring some green in there. So that's the finished one of that. So just in case you're curious, I just, you know, cut another panel with this blush paper. And then I took all these little bitties, which I'm saving some. And I um, went around the edge like this. And I put them on my little tweezers because it's just easier for me. And then inked around the edges like this. And then I just, whoops, hello. I'm standing up, so I'm even more uncoordinated as usual. And then I just put them inside of the um, lattice where I wanted them. I just put four in there. So, and I just thought that just gave it just enough extra dimension. So now let's get to the next, our next little project. So let me go ahead and scrape these up out of here. We're going to make something with this so, you know, we're not throwing it away. So let me put that aside. And then we get my little baggie of my junkies. <laughs> I got my little scraps in here. So let's just put these in here because, you know, I'm going to have to use them. Oh, I hope y'all are having a good day. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Definitely, I have to admit, I had to lay down after lunch. I think uh, as soon as I eat, my food hits me hard, and then I'm better. But, you know, now I decide I can tell um, <laughs> my son that they can tell my grandbaby that, that, that their Mimi was an alien, you know, because I'm kind of green or part turtle. Who knows? All right, let's put this back and let's get back on track. I thought being an alien was, you know, more fun than part turtle. That poor thing, he probably wouldn't understand. I just don't know what it is. But see, I slip and still call it a him, so I don't know. All right. So now I took, um, I'm going to make something with my pocket. <coughs> so I have it this die cut, cut. Oh, I'm bad. It's not that one. <laughs> I had this one. Uh, I still have my little pile over here from when we did our envelopes, but I've been making stuff, so I hadn't put them up. So I just used this. And then this was a scrap of um, blush that I'm going to do something with. So we're not going to throw this away because we're going to do something with that. So let me set it aside. I'll probably never find it again. And then, I know, I know. And then let me see, where are we going? Uh, paper clip these. There we go. All right, we're going to work on this. Make sure I'm in frame. Yep, okay. So I took this piece and I scored it and bent it over right here because I'm going to attach this to my my pocket, my little gusset pocket that we made because I want to make it as a, like an envelope closure. So when you open it up, there's our little gusset there, but we still have room in the back for tags. So I'm going to take two of these tags from our, our kit, and we're going to do something quick and easy on there, um, and then we're going to work on this one. So let me go ahead, oh, mm -mm -mm. all right, let me put this aside, and then let's go ahead and work on this one. Let me see if I can not lose those tags. You see them? They're right here in front of me. But I bet you I'll be looking for them in about five seconds. All right, well, five minutes, maybe. <coughs> oh, all right. So I'm just going to ink around the edges because, you know, 
got the ink before I can think. I know, that's just so sad, isn't it? And I know there's a lot of y'all out there that don't like to distress or ink around the edges, but don't you know? I, I do it both ways, but I really kind of like just my edges to pop out a little more. So, in your comments, put on there, are you a inker or do, are you are you just like yours plain? All right, so let me get, which I don't know where I put it. See, told you I'd be looking for something. Oh my gosh, well. All right, well, I guess we're just going to use the back of an envelope again since I've lost. Oh, I think I used all of my off things. That might be why I can't find anything anymore. Because I used them. Oh, that's a that's a good thing. All right, so I'm I'm looking for a stencil. Oh, okay. We're gonna use. I think we're gonna use this one. I just want a little other dimension, other color on the back, just a little bit, not much. Whoop. Once again, didn't hold on. Oh, but see, I'm kind of liking that faint I just add over here I didn't want much I just wanted a little something in the background all right let's come back over here and pick up a little over here all right can you see I mean it's just faintly Faintly, faintly, faintly there, but just enough that I, that I know it's there. All right, I gotta find my other paper. Find me some more paper because I think I've used them all. All right, so what I was thinking, hmm, as I'm yawning, I know that's sad. I have, did get good sleep, and I even took a nap. Oh, all right. So I'm wondering, but I don't want it to be so thick. All right. All right, let's punch some little... quarter inch things because I'm gonna we're gonna make our little a little bread puller so I like to do let's see we'll do four but I think I usually end up with six three on each side or at least on the top one I don't know we'll punch six just for toots and giggles all right so And then let's glue them together. I know, ladies that won these things, I'm going to make it hard for you to pick your thing. <sighs> Poor Karen, she's all the way in Australia. <laughs> I told her that her little stuff will have to come in, in multiple envelopes because, you know... Oh, thanks to that postage stuff, you can only do like under two ounces and, and so thick. So depending on what she picks, she might get a couple envelopes mailed to her. I sure wish they would make it more affordable to mail just stinking flat mail back and forth to each other. Because by gosh, if China can mail stuff to us for 15 cents, why can't we mail stuff to everybody for 15 cents? Okay, it might cost them a dollar, but shoot, come on. I mean, I get stuff from there, and it doesn't cost them anything to ship it to us. I just think that's unfair. Mm, we might do okay with... No. Let me go ahead. I know I'm not going to be happy unless I do three. I just like mine to be a little, a little tougher. 
<laughs> like my skin, you know. <laughs> Gotta make some, some crocodile freaking beginning of prehistoric time skin. You know, I don't know if I should take offense to that or not. I am tough, but by gosh. So I'm going to have to start conditioning my skin now, you know, so when I get older, I don't have to go through this when I have to go back to one of those places. Oh, all right. So I'm going to put this on here. And then, oh, let me just go ahead. I was going to try to cheat and um, get away with actually... Oops, let me pick that up. I think I'm going to glue my thread between here. All right, and of course, I did not get... Oh, well, I'm just going to use this, I guess. But I did not get a brad, so hold on. Let me get my little brad box. It's not far from here. Even though I did move it from my shelf when I was organizing before. Ouch. It's still over here. And let's see what we have to choose from. Oh. You know, I know I ordered these these brads, but they don't seem to be here. So that just means I didn't put them up where they were supposed to be. Everybody say imagine that. But they were cute. All right, they had like little, little rhinestones on the ends, but, well, let's see if we can find something that's flowery that goes with our, oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty flower. Can you see that one? See, now that I moved my phone, I don't know if I can see anything anymore. It's got little flowers on there. All right, we're going to use that one. That wasn't so hard. I still like to know where my rhinestone tip ones went. <laughs> Maybe I'll find it when I'm digging okay so this is definitely the top one with the three so let me find my center before I poke a hole all right oh fingers crossed hurt my fingers Ow, not so bad all right and then Well, you know, I think you're supposed to have, have that one on here. Let me just go ahead and get him put in here. Oh, this is going to be one of those fumbling crafting things. Ah, yeah, 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 y'all. See if I can hit that dot. Alright, got it. And then um let's ink around here and I need to print print hello punch another three quarter hole out so I can put it on the back, which I'm gonna do it in this blush so it matches. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Thought I had a little scrap. Oh yeah I do. Back here on my cutter. Hold on. Woohoo! Scraps to the rescue. Well, if I can get them undone. All right. And then let's just go ahead and poke that so it will match. And I guess I'll poke another one just to try to get underneath on the bottom. All right. So now. So I'm going to do like that, and we're going to pull this through somewhere. Don't want to make it too long like last time. Shoot, I had made my thing so long, I could have wrapped it around China and back. Never been there, but won't know. Don't know why I call it that. Okay, so we're definitely going to stick it through the hole. And stick it through this hole. Easier 
easier said than done. I'm going to get my little tweezers. Oh, nope, I got it, I got it. Woohoo! Okay. And then... Well, I used to have masking tape over here, but I don't have it, so just some... I know I moved it on the other side, but we'll just use some regular tape. We'll be all right. And then we're going to put this on top of here. So let's glue it down. Just so it covers our, all our little workings, our innards. And I think I might just leave the... Uh, Some of that thread hanging out. I don't know. I might. Oh, I just undid it from the end. I think it kind of looks a little funny. It's like, um, hey, what's underneath there? Oh, I'm underneath there. My little snezzles. See, I should have left a little longer so you could really see. But, oh well, too late. Got it on there. All right, let's thread this back through. Come on. Come on, jelly beans. All right. So we're going to put it right there. Uh, I didn't put my stupid thing in first. Oh my gosh, y'all. See? Just because you think you're back doesn't mean you're back. I'm not back. Let's see if we can save this. I might have to make a bigger hole punchy thing. Oh my gosh, what a dummy. See? You should have sent some vibes through the phone. That's just because I wanted it to be out further. So there we go. Oh my gosh. Yep. Told you. <laughs> Pumpling crafter video. But, alright. Let's try this again. Now that my tape's all wonky. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's going to matter. It's going to be down anyway. Okay, let's try this again. Whole point is to use a brad. <laughs> Good thing I poked two. Alright, let's try this again. Get this on here. Alright, stringer. Our top one through. Yeah, I just thought it was going to be a quick and easy project. No. No. Oh, and I have it on backwards on top of it. Okay, I want it to be like that. String it through the back. <sighs> what a dummy. Alright. We have that. Now we're sticking the magic brad through the hole. Actually, I think I want the thing underneath there after all that. Oh, yeah, I just thought I was better. Uh, I was wrong. Okay, now. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> we put the embroidery floss under the little disc thing. We have our brad in the hole now. Let's bend it over and try not to poke our fingers with it. Because you know, those things are vicious. They do hurt your fingernails. Alright. Now, we're going to glue this stinking thing back on here. Ah! Alright, four tries later, we get one side done. Oh my gosh. Alright. At least I didn't tear it up and was able to save it. Okay, but I still want that to hang out. Just, I don't know. Whoever gets this, if you don't like it, just take your little scissors to it. Give a haircut. Alright. So we have that. Let me just push it around back. Alright, now. Jeez Louise. 
Okay. So, after that five minute ordeal turned to 30 minutes, let me, let me glue it onto the back of here. <clears throat> Man, y'all, I still keep getting these frogs. It's crazy. All right, so we're going to glue it on here make sure I've got the glue on the right spot. Like I said, I want to glue this flap to the back so we can still use the pocket on the back and have the inside of the gusset. All right, let's see if I can do this right. Okay. And just cover, make sure we kind of cover our corners, which I did. And the inside looks pretty straight. So we're going to press that down. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if I like those extra hairs. I still might trim them. <laughs> After all that, I know, I know, I know. All right, and then we have these. So let me go ahead and glue this one on there. Get my ink out the way. All right. And then usually you put a brad in here also to match, but I'm not. I'm going to raise the back up. Well, that's the plan. Lord knows what's going to happen, but <laughs> I have intentions of raising the bottom, the back up. So that way I'm going to put a flower on here. <clears throat> All right, let me get my other one which I think I'm going to just use actually how in case some of you guys don't have the little three hole punchy I would have used this one but we're just going to use regular a regular hole puncher just in case that's all y'all have so you can see what I'm doing and get my little scrap again which there you went. All right, so let's just poke. I'm going to poke four just in case, but I'm probably just going to use three. Oh, <laughs> surprise, I hadn't emptied my thing out in a while. Woohoo, party. All right, <laughs> let me uh, get my little bits and pieces. I'm keeping them in a little jar here to make a shaker card one day. So I just keep all my little paper scraps and it's about full so because we're gonna make a little paper shaker card I just keep it on the side because it's magnetic you know all right and then let's just get my tweezers let's not even fight and we're gonna stack these together Just enough so you've got room to um, twirl your twine behind it. Because this is what's going to be glued onto the paper. And then your twine will just go around it. I know I could have used paper other than skin tone so you could tell what I'm doing. But a oh whale. Well. All right, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and go one more. Just trying to wiggle them back on there to make sure they're... I still have a circle, <laughs> not an oblong. All right, and that looks like it's going to be thick enough to go underneath there. Let me squish it down a little more. And then we're just going to glue it in the center. Whoops. Of the back of our disc. And this works really good, you know, if you don't have brads or access to brads, you just do it the same way on both of them. I don't know, can you can you see? Let me stand up and see. 
Can you see the thickness on the back? There, there you go. That way that's enough room for your embroidery thread to go around on the back. Let's just give that a minute so it can dry before we stick it on there. And then, all right, ink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, y'all. All I did was bring the camera in. I don't know why I'm having all these other issues. Oh, we know why. All right, and I'm just going to tie a knot around the ed end just so it stays together and doesn't ravel. There. All right. And then I think that's dry up there. Okay, now see, that's going to bother me. I don't know why I thought I was going to like it out. But maybe just a little bit was, was good, but too much was too much. There we go. Sorry if you wanted it long. Oops, glue your own back on there. And then we're going to put this on here, and then we'll put a flower on there. So, okay, about right there. So let me just mark it, because I'll sure forget by the time I put glue on it and stick it back there. And we're going to stick some glue on there. And we just want to make sure we're lined up so we match. And then that is our bottom part. And then once it, you know, dries and glues, we can wrap this twine all around it. See, plenty of room, but we just want that glue to, to dry before we do it. And then we will um, put a little flower on it later after it dries. Okay, so that way we can open it and we're going to make a little card or something to go inside there and then this will close and wrap around but like I said I just want it to dry for a few minutes so let me set this over here or over there oh I gotta put my brads up hold on still like to know what I do with my little cute ones that I got because you know at Christmas is coming up and I had got them to do some Christmas because they have all the little jewels on them Oh, and if you're just wondering, I just have them in a shoe box, and I label them, because they're see-through. I can see what's on my shelf. All right, now, let's get, whoops, throwing paper clips around. You know, they're valuable. I need them. All right, so let's go ahead stick my fingers in the ink let's ink around oh lord have mercy let's ink around here so I can see what I'm doing it just helps and who's kidding who oh well I was going to wait till I because I'm going to you know round the corners but I want to glue the back on because it's easier to crump your corners with when your paper's on the back I just wanted to do this so I can see what I'm doing. And I had to turn my TV off because apparently, even though I had it on number seven or in six, the stinking YouTube computer picked up the, the background noise and I got in trouble for copyright stuff, even though, I'm sorry, my ears couldn't hear it. How can you hear over my loud mouth? But it sure enough did, so. Oh. <gasps> No TV, so, huh, you know, whatever comes out, comes out to entertain myself. Just want to let y'all know. Warning. <laughs> I've been warned. Oh, okay, so I'm going to put a label here, and I want to do something down here. And, of course, not prepared. Just because I thought it was. I do like that one, so I might do that. That's from um, Janie B. Journal's Mystery 7. Um, and there's always this, but that might be, yes, yeah, too, too much, too much. Oh, and I have this little scrap. That might be pretty. Let me just throw some scraps out here so we can see what we got to work with. 
And of course, there's always this, but that might be too much tone on tone. thinking of maybe this brown label I don't know yet but I have that and then what did I do mm -mm -mm -mm. hold on let me let me twirl back here I think this is the paper I want to put on the back I moved my little pile of stuff so, well, Jiminy Crickets, we might be doing it without those other things, because I'm sure I've lost them again. All right, and then I have, like, this lace, but I think that might be too white on there, but this is the coffee dye that I'm going to put on the back. So let's just go ahead. I think I'm liking this one here. Let me just go ahead and tear this. You know, using some of the scrap. <laughs> one less scrap in the scrap bucket. Can't cover my roses up. Maybe I'll. I don't know. The edges, edges just might harsh. Okay, let me just cut this little brown one out real quick. I know. Sorry, y'all gonna have to bear with me through some fussy cut. Let me get my little good scissors out. No point in torturing myself too much. Let me get some scissors that really cut. Detail with my little lefty self. I am amazed at how many people that subscribe that are left-handers. That's just amazing. I mean, do do all lefties find themselves on YouTube's and um, crafting? It is just interesting. It sure would be nice to have some affordable left-handed or even universal multi-tool things that people can use that whether they're left-handed or right-handed because there is a shop I think it's called lefties only or something that I found years ago but my goodness no it's just a little too expensive Especially for scissors, I was, when I was looking for scissors, I was like, no, I'm not paying that price. Granted, I probably bought 50 pairs of scissors to, before I found these from Tim Holtz, because like I said, they're, um, the way they're cut, it works both ways. It works great for left-handed, so I'm, I'm having to guess that you right-handed people have no problem either. Because I know this lefty sure likes them. Go, we'll look after we do because I'm toying with that little that up there but I don't want all of my stuff down there by the roses so and then I want to make my journal cards too thick because there's gonna be you know a lot of stuff on there and we just don't want to make our pockets so bulky Ooh, ooh. See, that might be too big. Yep, too big. After all that, too big. It's too big. No. Okay, shoot. Um, holy Toledo. Let's see what this one looks like. <laughs> Sorry, y'all.
possibility. Well, see this is what happens when you don't have all your options to choose from ready. I thought surely that one was going to fit. No, just too big. But I think this one will fit pretty. Oh, <laughs> not cutting around there very well. Ooh, doo -doo. Ooh. Duh, smart. I know, I'm thinking. I gotta think while I trim. Or I'll be all rogue and making this design good grief a pansy or something. It won't even look what, what it started out. Even with the dark lines, I sure still wouldn't follow it. <clears throat> all right. I think that one's going to work better. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so let's just glue this on and then we'll glue our coffee dye paper on the back. Which, yes, that's a digital of an original coffee dye that I did. I'm telling you, this giving up the originals of some coffee dye that turns out so pretty is really hard. So, I don't know. I know a lot of y'all are like, well, I don't like digitals. Well, sorry. Sometimes it's when you only got one. Now, if I come up with some more like it, you know, that'd be another story. But right now, I'm hoarding some of these. <laughs> Thank God for scanners. have that. Put that kind of in the middle because we're going to put our little reinforcer hole up top with a, some lace or something later. But let's get our, you know, and of course some Nouveau drops and maybe a sequin. <laughs> you know, all the basics that I put on mine. All right. <clears throat> start with this end. my glue. All right, let me put it over here so I know I'm going to be off of the white. Whew, hold on, i got to kick my shoes off. I'm telling you, wearing shoes, if my feet get hot, that's it. Whew, i got to kick them off. I need some air. try with my scissors instead of the um, my cutting board or my, sm my small guillotine Let's see if I can make it work <clears throat> gosh it's because my feet got hot Just looks, you know, naturally, nature y. <clears throat> and then after it glues, I will round the corners. <clears throat> oh my gosh. All right, but that's going to be one of them. Let me put on even blocks. 
<clears throat> and let's just go ahead and glue this to the back so we can be done. And then I got to see if what I was going to put in this pocket is going to fit in there. Because I originally was going to do something else, but nope. They didn't fit. They were too tall. I already made the pocket and I already glued it to it, so you kind of got to use it because it's on there. But that's a challenge in itself, though, isn't it? I know. I got to get back to my Marguerite Miller challenge. I got two bins that I had made beforehand with all my little stuff. Maybe I'll do that after this. I don't know. I got <clears throat> quite a few other ones tags to do. We've got to fill our six pocket inside thing, which I've got all my stuff pulled for that. So I might do one. I'll do I might just show you a quick what I'm gonna do, then I'll make them off camera since there's so many little things. And then I'll show you them when they're finished. At least you can see all the stuff that I'm gonna use for them. Like I said, that way it kind of helps me get a little caught up, get some of this stuff done. Oh, I watched one of Dee Dee Fair goes, don't freak out before Christmas crap that she started today. And I'm like, no! Oh my God! I haven't even got the Faded Roses journal done yet and we're talking about Christmas! Oh, So I will be freaking out. Okay, just want to let you know, I will be freaking out before Christmas. Because I'm going to be last minute. I don't know. I enjoy doing it during the holidays. That's, you know, that's how I started last year um, with my Etsy towards the end of October. And then did, you know, from hol you know fall stuff and then a lot of Christmas things. And I just had a blast doing Christmas every day. So, did you know? We shall see. It's only August 3rd for the Pete's sake. <laughs> Dee Dee, bang! You don't put the stress in me. Alright. So, and you know, I'm kind of thinking that this is just is pretty. So, I mean, he might just have to be by himself. I don't know. Do we even have a tag that's going to be small enough? See, that should have printed these smaller. But, you know, I do have some smaller ones. So... Hold on, let me go find my little sticker, my little label box real quick. Okay guys, I'm back. I found my labels that I wanted to use and I found where I get these, all these ones that I've used from. It's called the Junk Journal Studio. Oh, anyway, just in case y'all want to see that. So that's where I use this one, the recorded on. It came from here, so I'm going to use that on top. And then this little, I wanted to pull in a little more burgundy. This came from the um, Mad Paper Crush, found numbers and dates. I'm using it from here. But you know you designers out there, just put your little name and what it is just smallly on the bottom of the, I think I'm making this worse than what it was, on the bottom of your, your page, you know, not right next door to the design, but just on the very bottom. So that way we can give y'all credit. Because sometimes, you know, when you get so many designs, I mean, some digitals, which, you know, I'm I'm new to the to the do dog and pony show, but I got some digitals, and um, it's hard to remember. And you want to give people credit for it, but go put your little bitty, little itty bitty, <laughs> on the bottom, so that way, when we have our little piece of paper, we're like, oh yeah, this is from so and so, and. Um, because sometimes I forget to write them when I print them. I try to write on them when I print them, but when you get busy, you just forget. And then you think you're going to remember, but no, you don't. And it's not because, you know, we don't want to remember. It's just we can't remember. Because we have short-term-itis. Short-term brain. No memories left in there. We use all of our memory for, for crafting ideas. Oh, but that's just a little wish list for y'all. 
please put your little name on the bottom. Not huge. I mean, you know, even though, granted, I consider this huge, but you still have all of the stuff on here. You didn't lose any, any of the designs or something, and it's on there. But, you know, just... If, if we have a big old design, just something little bitty on the bottom, even though you know we're going to tear it off, we could still say this is where it came from. And then, you know, like on the, the um, shoot, the junk journal studio, you know, granted on here, you see like this, yeah, I'd like to have a little more labels on here that I can use instead of so much words, but, eh, you know, whatever, I bought them. But, you know, just even on here, just a little small little thing on the side. Or even if you, you know, force us to give up one of these things. Not these ovals with the little dots in there because they're killer. But like 8% or something. You know, like put put your little thingy right here on one little spot so we know what it is. And, um, you know, don't take away the good stuff because I love these. They look like little, you know, room door plaques. I'm just saying. I know I don't mean squat. But someone might be listening. Okay, oops, right side up. Here I go again. All right, and I just thought I'd put that on there just to give, pull in a little more color. And then we have our back. And since I've uh, waited so long, it's all dry now. Since I had to go find my, the label, my special label. Let me go ahead and round my corners. Just because, you know, it goes in and out of my pockets and stuff better. Alright. And then, oops, let me close that up. I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, let me put my little number one in my little, my little baggie before I lose it. You know I will. Like, I'm going to put this over here in my, in my, my faded roses bin, but I'm sure I'll lose it too. <laughs> All right, what was I looking for? See, I don't forgot. Oh yeah, <laughs> dots. It's so sad. It's so sad. So sad to be in my world. My little brain's like, get me out of here. We're tired of it. We've been stuck in here for years. She's just going downhill. We used to like this brain, but now we don't. We don't like this body no more. We want the new one. Oh, trust me. I'm with you on that one. All right, we're going to put that one there. I guess I need to color some more. Little thingies. Oops. I know I'm working towards me. I hope y'all saw. If not, I'm just sticking reinforcers on there and poking holes in it. <laughs> but still. Alright. Come on. Get off there. Alright. Hey, Karen, <laughs> in, the, in Australia, do you guys have these reinforcers up there that have these, um, the different colors, the gold, the bronze, and the silver? If not, let me know on your little winter thing. I'll send some to you. All right, so that... That is our two tags. Let me see how far we've gone. 50 minutes. I don't even know if i got time to do these two things. Y'all know I'm slow as Christmas. Oh, shoot. I better shut up because thanks to Dee Dee, it's right around the corner. <laughs> That's going to go in there. i got to find. i got to decide what I'm going to put on there. And then this is our little loopy-loo. Okay. And, you know, I might... I have this little rose over here. I might stick that, which means I gotta put something over there. But 
All right, if I did that, oh, I know, here we go. Um, see, I just like these numbers. Let me do 792. And then you stick that on there. Oh, got to take the tops off. Can't make a scissors if you see if your top shut. Do we stick with number three? Mm, I think I might need number three. Or number 22. I think 792 might be too big. Let's do number 22 and see. That might be too light for me. Since we use a number three on, you know, our woman on the ceremony one, I don't want to use too many number threes. Don't want to repeat since she's repeating already. <laughs> well, I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> That's what isn't that what Gail says? That's why they made distress ink. So if you don't fussy cut so good, you can co cover up all your little your little errors. You still see them, but not as bad. All right. Yeah, I think that will be just a fine. And I still need to put my little flower on here. There we go. I see it. It's going to give it up. Okay, and I want it to be like right there. Let me smoosh it down. Smoosh it, smoosh it real good. Dun, 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 See, turn my TV off. Here it comes. Lord. And we're going to put number 22 over there. And then we're going to pull out one of my little flowers and stick it on top. Well, that's what I planned, but we shall see. It might not work out. One of my little jibby-jabbies. I'm gonna go sideways. All right. Okay. So, here you go. We have our little, we turned our gusset pocket, let me move this out of the way. We turned our gusset pocket into a closing pocket. We made our little flappy on here with our little coin closures, I guess that's what they call them. Then we made our two tags, which I'm going to bling them up and then, you know, I can still feel this is still cool, still damp, but I'm going to bling them up a little bit. I'm probably going to put a sticker down here and then find some um, ribbon to go in there. And then I will show you guys that when we come back. And then I'm going to make something to go in here real quick. And um, I will show you all that. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. Um, kisses and love. And I will see you guys on the next video so have a blessed day have a great day and thanks see y'all later bye okay <laughs> before i piece these together i said i would give you a sneak peek about some of the stuff that was going to be going in the six pocket journal insert that we made so these are some of the papers that i'm going to be using to make 
some of the items to go in there. So I will show you when I get one project done, and then this will be another project. So I'll show you this one and that one, and then um, just so you can kind of see oh, with these crazy little things. I put my little flower on here, and then I put some Nuvo drops oops, on my little 22 so it looks like it's going. Okay, guys, so that's it. I'll see y'all later. Bye.